It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC East. It's the Steamers and the Dreadnoughts on Monday night. At the southern tip of the Chesapeake Bay, EA Sports brings you coverage of the National Football League from Virginia Beach here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up between the Memphis Steamers taking on the Dreadnoughts of Virginia Beach. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night. All sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spotlight night. How about Sunday night? But there still is some magic to playing on Monday. season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the pride of Wyoming in his sixth season with one of the league's strongest arms, Josh Allen. I remember... They start the drive with Cook, and right away they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Allen now looks to throw. Finds his rookie tight end, Dalton Kincaid. Five yards, now it's third and five. Gonna throw. Oh, his first throw of the season is intercepted. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44 yard line. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Here's Hines. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Two yards still to go, third down now. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. 
Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, the last active player remaining from the 05 draft and a name that dominates headlines year-round, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes, few and far between. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing is Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Third down and six. Rodgers going to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Hines now on the return. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has, really. And they come up here now first down. Now Allen. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second and ten. Allen running right on the option. And he'll get this up to about the 40. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. Cook up the gut. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And now they'll throw with Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 22. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years? But the better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. On first down, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. First down, here's the run with Cook. Brought down at the 20. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. to the air, Allen. And it's caught, touchdown! Stephon Diggs with career touchdown number 60. And they are able to add on to their advantage.
They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10 0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to, down 10 0 early as they've got it first and 10. Here's Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson, 75 yards. And the Dreadnoughts are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. To throw, it's Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen works right side into this, and the tight end knocks. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 35-yard line. Here's Allen. His throw incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second quarter now, and it's our home team with possession. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. To throw is Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. So the completion good for six yards. And now it's third and three. Now Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here's Rodgers to throw. They'll set up the screen for Hall. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a game of 19 and brings up third down. They'll run with Hall. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Now Rodgers. Throwing for the out round, he finds Wilson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he stopped immediately there. Tyrell Dodson, the one to bring him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. A carry here for the big tight end. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting them a few yards. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. Okay, so you just took the big loss. Now what are you doing on fourth down? Well, we have a change of plans now is what we have because I think they were looking at the play sheet, trying to dial something up to go for it on fourth down. But after that loss, that goes right out the window. Now you have to kick the field goal and hope to come back down the next time and score. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will knot us up at 10. So you're a boxing guy. How do you score that on your boxing card? A very long drive with three points. And I really want to do my boxing analyst voice right here, but I'm going to keep it normal for us, right? I call it a draw. That type of a drive has to feel good, right? You take it all the way downfield. You control the ball, control the clock. But they only got three points out of it. So defensively, 
It could have been worse, right? So I give it a draw. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Top of five line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early to have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way, it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The offense on third down tonight, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and ten. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. There's no secret who they were trying to get the football to. Well, no, they went to them first down, second down, third down, all three incomplete. Yeah, and when you're unable to connect and you force it in that direction, all you're doing is giving confidence to the defense. They're really hurting you in a big way. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have more bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's some TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now it's Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll give to Hall. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 41 yard line. On second down, a run with Hall. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now, looking at a third and three. They'll go again with Hall. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. Rodgers now to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, possession switches hands. Now, even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the postgame. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. So the penalty declined, and they will keep the yardage on the completion. And you can almost see him compartmentalize there throughout the route. Fought hard at the line of scrimmage. A lot of hand checking throughout the route. Great job staying focused on the football and pulling it in through the contact. On play action, Allen. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. I think a lot of time when we see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback, but here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. 
Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. The kick by Bass is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. But now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to set the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Back to back, what a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. Rogers going to throw. There's Hall bringing in another one. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing is Rogers. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. One more go for this offense in the first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And this is incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So we reach halftime here at our first Monday nighter of the season. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And that's been a back and forth game, all tied in the second quarter. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there he goes left side. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 65 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Well, it's kind of fitting. A couple days ago when we met with him, I said, what is it about your running game that's so effective? He said, I like to tag myself as elusive. He was pretty elusive right there. And his teammates appreciate that because they know 
they don't have to hold their blocks for very long. As one of them told us, if I just breathe some bad breath on the guy in front of me, that's all I need to do, and he's gone. Rodgers throw into the hands of Cobb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. Straight ahead is Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And it is caught. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Hand off, running left. Here's Hall. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. On first down, right back to Hall. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception. And we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? That's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Throwing now is Allen. Got his man complete in the middle. That's Davis. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Allen going to throw. And Diggs has it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. A catch in the first down from Stephon Diggs, one of the league's most consistently excellent receivers. Third straight season with over 100 catches and a near career best of 11 touchdowns as well. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. Pushes past him. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. 
Now this offense and Garrett Wilson headed back out. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, it means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. 89 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifting, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Second and nine. Back to throw. Rodgers. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. We have got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on here to punt it away. Memphis to once again go on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Allen getting the football to Davis on an out route. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First down, Steamers. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Gary correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. On second down, Cook. A little juke, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And from the 9, they get this to the 5-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To the air. Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another play in their pocket. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. James Cook 
taking it in from two yards out. And the Steamers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And here's the Virginia Beach offense out and ready to go again. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. That one thrown across his body, and it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Hall ought to give up the middle. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with a run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now here on EA Sports. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. Here's Hallett. They'll fire this deep for Hardy. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Allen now looks to throw. Pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now Hall to start the drive. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And out across midfield down to the 45. 123 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Hall again. Down to the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A big play there. 43 yards on the ground. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
It's a loss of four on the first down play. Second and goal from the six this time. Here's a give to Hall. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. Touchdown! Randall Cobb from six yards away. And the Dreadnoughts have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's second and five now from the 22. Shakir hauls it in. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And third and eight now. Now Allen. Now he's free to midfield. He's got a first and maybe more. And all the way in for a touchdown. Khalil Shakir, 81 yards. And the Steamers use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Now the return, here comes Randall Cobb. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. But the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. On play action, now Rodgers. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Rodgers will try again on second down. He completes it to Wilson. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. Now Rodgers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. 
Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Cook up the gut. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 77 yards rushing for him now to this point. Third down and one. To throw, it's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. Completes to Shakir once again. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. Brings up second and five at the 45-yard line. Now Allen. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by DJ Reed. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. That's Trying to defend the route there. Got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football. And other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Brings up second and three at the 34 yard line. Looking to throw. Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he works it to the 30 yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards the pick up, first down. First down, Memphis. Up the middle, it's Cook. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. A well-executed 22-yard gain. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Yeah, he's got it. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Here, a four-yard game brings up second and goal. Line. Back to throw. Allen. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Dalton Kincaid with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Steamers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit. Found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then in the game. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Well, here's the Virginia Beach offense out and ready to go again. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. 
Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Throwing is Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Rodgers again now. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. That is caught, and he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Rodgers now on first down. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And 10 yards to go. Rodgers now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And again, it's Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And seeing teams go into the prevent early, way too early, and sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Now try and wind down some clock with Cook. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And yeah, they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. First down, Steamers. Here's Cook again. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Well, partner, that'll do it. Week one, primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, 
get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Memphis, it'll be a happy trip home as they start the season with a road victory here on a Monday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Virginia Beach, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.